Welcome back everybody. Last time we saw the wind crystal destroyed and we got some job classes. So we're going to learn a bit about the job classes in this episode. I don't know how far we're going to get. So the chocobo is going to explain a lot of stuff that is not really important or if you want to read you can read. First I'm going to talk a bit about what the job classes. Basically you can switch to do different jobs to set up a proper party to be able to heal, defend, attack, do whatever the hell you want. Um, you can pretty much change the job classes whenever you want. There's no capacity points like there was in this, well, not in battle, but there's no capacity points in, uh, like there was in the third game, uh, Final Fantasy III. Uh, also what really brings it to, uh, a new level is the fact that you can equip abilities. Different abilities. So, a knight can now learn white magic, and we'll see this a bit later when I when I explain this a bit more. Now, to gain each each job has a different level, and the level is kind of increases the more ability points you get. So, after every battle, you're going to get a certain number of ability points that will go towards your um, job level, sort of learning new, new commands and new abilities. So there we go. So here we are. Uh, so let's first go to jobs. First thing about jobs is each job has different stat increases and decreases. So for the knight, uh, pretty much the raw stats, strength, agility, uh, vitality, and magic power. That's how it's gonna go. So for the knight, it's plus 27 for strength, plus 1 for agility, plus 20 for uh, vitality, and minus 14 for magic power. For the monk, plus 26 for vitality, or sorry, for strength, plus 1 for agility, 26 for vitality, and minus 23 for magic power. For the blue mage, minus 8 for strength, plus 1 for speed. Plus 3 for uh, Vitality, and plus 23 for Magic Power. Uh, next is Thief. Plus 1 for Strength. Plus 16 for Speed. Plus 2... Well, Agility, sorry. Plus 2 for Vitality, and minus 6 for Magic Power. For the Black Mage, minus 9 for Strength. Uh, no increase in Agility. Minus 2 for Vitality plus 21 for magic power, which makes sense because you're going to be relying more on his magic. And the white mage, minus 7 for vigor, plus 1 for speed, 0 for stamina, and plus 25 for vitality. Depending on which version you're playing, the statistic names might be slightly different, such as vigor being strength, speed being agility, and stamina being vitality. So those are the different increases and decreases you're going to get. So here we have the job screen. The current job, the pitcher, the name of the character, the level they're at, and the current job. Each one has the character sprites of the different jobs. So here, what is it? It's knight. It's level 1 in the job class. You need 30 ability points to learn up to level the next level, level 2. See here, 0. I did a little learning. Uh, covers near-death allies. These are just special... These are the inert abilities, abilities that are automatically used, that you don't have to, like specialities like a knight covers opponents when near death. Um, monks have a counter attack as well as they can, they don't need weapons, they'll do a massive amount of damage without any weapons. Uh, this is where you can speed, you press the cancel button you'll be able to run around as long as you have a thief in your party as well as you can see hidden passages. So a thief comes in handy outside of battle as well. White mage, cast white magic, no special abilities, black mage, fast black magic. Um, blue mages learns the monster's attacks and then just your bear. Now the thing about the bear is any inert or support abilities you learn, whatever you want to call them, like the covering and the counter attack, blah blah blah, goes into the normal job class, or the bear, or the freelance, or whatever the hell you want to call it. So if I learn counterattack, my bear, or sorry, if I master 
It's gotta be mastered job, sorry. If I mastered a uh, monk, all the monk's abilities will transfer to my normal class. As well as if I mastered the knight at the same time, all the abilities will transfer to my normal class. So my normal class will have the ability to beat the crap out of people barehanded, counter attack, as well as cover near death allies. As well as learn blue magic. It's a good way to learn blue magic too, is if you just have a bear and it has a learning ability, they'll all learn it automatically. So let's get the show on the road. So first thing you do is you select the job. Oh by the way, if you want to transfer, you just press left and then double click on the guy. Can't oh you can move him. Does that put them? Oh, it does put them in the lead. Okay, I'll have to do that. So first, you select the character, jobs, and then the character. Now, Bart's is going to specialize in uh, high offense and power, so knights and stuff like that. So we'll click on the knight, and it'll ask you to set your abilities. So here we have a few abilities learned. So you can, s they have the job ability. This one is always there, whatever job you select will have its own different abilities and the knight has guard which you can guard a specific ally next is this is the cover this is the first level that uh, it's the ability you uh, learn when you first get uh, your first job level as a knight but since he already has it don't bother equipping it but I have gone and I learned level 1 might magic so We'll equip that. Now our uh, knight will be able to use white magic as well. You can also see the what they can equip, so knives, heavy swords, and shields, as well as how many abilities I've learned total. So I've learned two, and there's two abilities. The ones with exclamation marks are battle abilities, or command abilities, sorry. They're abilities that you have to input, and the character will take actions. Well, the ones without the exclamation mark are inert or support abilities. They happen automatically. Like I said, since the knight already has cover, I wouldn't equip that. Equip that. But if I equipped another job, say monk, I could put cover right here, and now my monk would cover. But I wouldn't have a second different ability. So right now, Bart's is going to have white magic, like the traditional knight. And then it goes to the equipment screen where you just where it automatically optimizes. So next is going to be Lena. Lena's going to be white uh, support magic, uh, defensive and support magic. So we'll go to white. Sort of learn white. We'll have like double white. Why not? Lena's double white. Which I guess makes her pale. I don't know. Just double click and put her in the back row so she doesn't get hurt. Next is Gallif. Gallif is going to be offensive magic. He can be black magic or blue magic. I'm going to learn blue magic for right now. Because the second level... There's his first level. Observe, which pretty much checks the enemy. HP MP. And I can equip black magic. So he'll be able to use blue and black magic. But the blue mage's inert ability is the ability to learn blue magic from enemies that are cast upon him. So I'm going to learn some of that while he's doing this. Then I'll switch back to the black magic because to get that up a bit more so that he can pretty much use black magic. Once he learns the learn ability from the blue magic, I'll equip it on the black mage. So that means I always have somebody in my party that can learn blue magic. And equip as always. And next is Ferris. Ferris will be special. It's already got the dash ability, but uh, I'm going to go with the monk. Now, the monk is interesting because he has the... Or he, she, whatever you, whatever character it's on. Has the kick command, which pretty much attacks all enemies for split damage. But it's... It's the only command you cannot learn. So this is the only job that has the ability. And then I'm going to equip the thief level 1. Ability Passage. This will allow me to see any hidden passageways. So I don't have to search for anything. And I don't need to equip anything because he's pretty much going to be beating the crap out of everything. Now if you want to change your jobs, or just your abilities and not your job, you can just go to Abilities and you can change them up. 
let's get into a battle here. I'll just kind of walk around until we fight one. Sorry, this is taking so long, and it's not. Uh, and I get a back attack. Great. Oh well, these things aren't really threatening. So there's a counter attack. They can't. They hit um, Ferris, and he counter attacked for some pretty good damage. You got to remember, he's in the back row, so double that damage, and he hits twice. So kick. Notice he doesn't have a third command or fourth command in the uh, middle there. That one because he has a support ability which isn't there or which is automatic and it's more used outside of battle. And notice my white or uh, my knight can now use white magic. And you can also guard if you want to Oh, I think guard uh, no, guard in this one reduces damage to like 1 fourth. That's what guard does in this one. And my blue mage who can learn blue magic and the second ability is black magic. What she doesn't, I don't have any right now. It'd be more impressive later. All right, well we've dealt with that, and I've wasted about ten minutes of your time. So there's the important one, ABP. Every battle you'll get some. Try to find battles that have like give you the most ABP when you're grinding, because you don't so much have to grind for levels, but grind for abilities. So. Notice Ferris was at 13 when I went into battle, so now 15. Everybody increased their ATB or their ability points by 1. Once they get to the max, which is 15, their job level will go up. And they'll learn whatever ability they learn at that battle, uh, at that level. So there we go. Hopefully that's a quick explanation. Uh, hopefully you'll kind of understand. As with the stats, stats go up and down to pretty much compensate they're not permanent stats and they don't affect your player in any way. But if you want a strong, by the end of the game, if you want a strong... Pirates are a little uh, happy for beer. So if you want a strong bear or normal or freelancer job, okay, you'll have to try to learn as many, master as many jobs as you can because you'll... all those will be... no. I am confident I play this game a lot. Okay. So if the more jobs you master, the more effective your normal come becomes. Also if you, you want to switch the normal, one thing you'll notice about the normal, is you can now equip two abilities as opposed to one. Unfortunately, the the character sprite doesn't change on screen like it does in the third game. But oh well. Uh, well, the sh place shattered. So here we are. So like I said, only certain party member or certain job classes. Can, well, I didn't. Can equip certain things. So any member brought forward can learn. Can pretty much use these items. So we'll get a staff. Rods are mostly, staves are for white mages, rods are for black mages, or attacking mages, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, master as many as you can. Some can take a long time, but don't worry, there are some enemies that give a lot of uh, ability points and make it quick and easy to master. You just focus on certain characters. I have four equipped, so that's all good. So all my characters are decked out there. So you'll pretty if you master if all your characters masters all the abilities, you'll pretty much become their bear will pretty much become a killing machine. Don't want to go in there. No way, that's the end. Where's the magic? There it is. Okay, well, whatever. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be whales, but uh, like I said, this is a completely... This is fans translated. There we go, potion, hidden potion. This is fans translated, so it's... This was translated, I think, before... 
PSX version came out, and some more direct translation. So here we have our spells. Fire, Ice, Bolt, Cure, there you have it. You can't buy them again. Scan, Antidote, Antidote cures poison, scan, scans enemies. So here we have magic. If it's in white, that means he can use it. You can use it out of battle, but if the little dot there is filled in, it means they can use it. So notice, Bards can use white magic, Galif can use black magic, even though their their jobs aren't that specific, that's because they have the battle of the commands on, so they can use it. Also, magic in this one comes in different levels. Unlike the third, Unlike the first game and the third game, you'll pretty much always be able to equip there's only three level ones, three level twos and the red mage will actually have all access to all level threes and all level twos. Anyways, I've talked long enough I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.